Welcome everybody to Tennessee State University Art and Design Art Talk. We are here today um, with DreamWorks Animation. Um, and I do think um, also is it HBCU 20 times 20? Yep. Awesome. So um, we have representation from both of those organizations. Um, and they're going to talk a little bit about their programs. Um, I'm just going to read a short little intro and then hand it over to them to do their introductions. Um, I'll start with my introduction um, so you know who I am. I'm uh, the gallery director and I have a friend here. He has a little bit of a cough. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the gallery director. My name is Courtney Adair Johnson at uh, TSU. And um, if you're a TSU student and we haven't met before, I'm here for you. I'm a resource and um, hit me up. I'll drop my email in the chat um, and we can talk more about art later. But um, DreamWorks uh, aspires to reach everyone who loves their stories and characters around the world. At the cinema, streaming with consumer products, location-based entertainment, attractions and experiences. DreamWorks typically hires in the areas of art, visual development, character design, story, editorial, modeling, character, rigging, surfacing, layout, pre-visualization, um, final layout, animation, crowds, character effects, um, effects, lighting, matte painting, image filing, technical directors, and product management. We will learn more about what a career at DreamWorks looks like as we chat with their team today. They'll discuss early career programs, which include um, internship program, training program, as well as a new HBCU fellowship program. So I'm excited to hear what y'all have to say and learn more about it. Um, I love all of those job listings. Um, they get you thinking about um, the different ways that um, you can engage and build your art career. So I think that's what we're all excited about. Like, what does our art practice look like? And what can it look like in our career? So I'll hand it over to our guest speakers. Thank you, Courtney. Dennis, do you want to introduce yourself first before I jump in? Hello, definitely. Hello, everyone. Happy Black History Month. My name is Dr. Dennis Johnson. I'm the Senior Vice President for Programs and Partnerships at HBC 20 by 20. Uh, we're the world's largest network for Black job seekers and HBCU students. Awesome. Thanks, Dennis. Um, so my name is Emma Fosco. I am on the Early Career Programs and Diversity Outreach Team at DreamWorks Animation. Um, I believe Rabia Abedin is also on this call. She's the manager on my team. Um, and basically my team, it's a long title, but we run all of the early career programs. So that includes our internship programs, our trainee programs, and most recently this brand new HBCU fellowship program, which we're gonna announce to you today. Um, let me pull up my slides. Okay, um, so today Dennis and I will be announcing the new launch HBCU fellowship program put on by DreamWorks in partnership by, with HBCU 20 by 20. But first, I'm going to first give you an overview of DreamWorks animation. So at DreamWorks, we have two main divisions. We have the feature side, which is our movies, and then we have the TV side. Hopefully you recognize some of the characters and projects shown here. And on the feature side, we focus on producing CG films, and we typically release two films per year. Our feature side recently celebrated its 25th anniversary, so we've been around for some time. We're excited about that. On the TV side, it's newer, so we're about eight years old, and we stream our shows on many of the major streaming platforms, uh, mostly Netflix, but also Hulu, Apple, Peacock, et cetera. And as you can see from these images, DreamWorks does not have one house style. So we explore lots of different looks and feels in our movies and TV shows. And on the TV side, in addition to CG, we also explore 2D animation as well. This is a short sizzle reel highlighting some of our projects. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy. You really need to see this. Follow me, boys. For 25 years, we've been dreamers, adventurers, Hold with me. Here I come. and heroes. I'm in. Uh, cupcake? You have been chosen. Are you ready? Skadoosh. For the honor of Grayson! <laughs> Just do not care. <laughs> la, la, la. Welcome. 
to the pride. All right, so hopefully you recognize some of the characters um, shown there. So at DreamWorks, we are really proud of our company culture. Um, when you ask a DreamWorks employee what their favorite part about working at DreamWorks is, they're probably going to mention the culture. I hear it all the time. So these are some photos highlighting some of the fun events that we have at DreamWorks. Um, these were all taken before the pandemic, but this kind of gives you an idea of the fun we like to have. Um, our campus is located in Los Angeles, California. If you're familiar with the area, we're in Glendale, which is right outside of LA. And we take advantage of our beautiful campus to throw fun events and parties. So for instance, we have wrap parties whenever a film is complete. Um, we celebrate award season and we celebrate all the big holidays. For instance, Halloween, everyone goes all out and dresses up. And we have a big costume contest on campus. And we actually have an entire team dedicated to putting on these fun events um, and employee engagement called Teamworks. And they've done a really great job at putting on um, these fun events virtually throughout the pandemic and keeping this fun spirit alive, even while we are remote. Um, for instance, this Thursday, I'm participating in a chocolate making class for Valentine's Day. And we had a legging build, Lego building competition um, coming up soon too. So we like to have fun here. In addition to fun celebrations and events, DreamWorks also offers a lot of classes open to all of its employees. So for instance, they offer training demos on our animation software. Um, looking at the photos here, you can see a drawing class, painting classes, a sculpting class in the bottom right. And I want to emphasize that you do not necessarily need to be an artist to work at DreamWorks. I think we do have probably a lot of artists in the audience today, but if you are not, um, just know that you do not need to be an artist to work at DreamWorks. We have jobs across all different business functions like marketing, HR, legal, finance, recruiting, in addition to all of the artistic fields that Courtney mentioned in the introduction. Um, and <laughs> what up, dog? Dude, this is one so of the cool things about working at DreamWorks is that me, myself, I'm not an artist, but I can flex my creative muscles by um, engaging in these classes. Another awesome part about DreamWorks culture is our ERGs. So ERG stands for Employee Resource Group. And these are basically like clubs that connect people from similar backgrounds across the studio. So our ERGs put on panels, workshops, and socials for their members, um, and basically just offer safe spaces for each other to connect each other and support each other. So to name a few, we have Ben, the Black Employee Network, we have the Veterans Network, uh, YPN, which is Young Professionals Network, and the Women's Network, along with the others shown here. Now I'm going to give a very high level overview of our TV and feature animation pipelines. So this is what our TV pipeline looks like. Basically, we start by identifying a property or character like Poe uh, to base the show around. And then we pitch our idea to a streaming platform like Netflix or Hulu. Once our idea is bought, we then start the production of the show and go through the phases you see here, like layout, writing, story, design, et cetera. And at any given time, we can have 70 to 80 shows in development and production. So that's a lot of shows. Um, and they, the TV side moves very quickly. So because of this high volume and fast pace, we partner with overseas animation studios um, to do the actual animation work on our, film, on our TV shows. So you see that highlighted in blue down here. So throughout that process, we give them feedback. And then when they're done with the animation portion, they send it back over to us and we put the final touches on in post-production. This is our feature pipeline. So this looks a little different. Um, the, make, the process of making our feature films is much slower. So it can take four to six years from the development stage to the when we finish a, a movie. So it's a lot slower. And you'll notice there are more departments here than on the TV side. So everything is done in-house on the feature side. And when I started DreamWorks, uh, this chart was confusing to me. I did not know what all of these different departments were. Maybe you guys do a little more than I do because you're all art majors or have a lot of you are, have art backgrounds, but um, that's okay. This fellowship program that we're here to announce today and our internship programs, they're all great ways to get your foot in the door and start to learn this pipeline and wrap your head around it. Um, you'll notice most of the departments in the middle here are artistic. So modeling, matte painting, surfacing, lighting, image finaling. But I also wanted to point out our production management team. So this includes production interns, um, production assistants, all the way up to producers. 
and they are like the glue that holds all of these artistic departments together. Um, so they make sure that the content moves from one department to the next smoothly and on time. So now I'm going to dive into the details of our launch HBCU fellowship program. So this is an eight week professional development program and fellows will be given a stipend at the end. It is open to all HBCU students or recent graduates. So if you're graduating this upcoming May or June, you are eligible. And this open this program is open to all majors. So we're not necessarily looking for artists. We're just looking for people who are interested in exploring a career in animation. Again, we have lots of non-artistic opportunities at our studio in areas like legal, HR, PR, marketing, recruiting, finance, and more. So this program will take place from May 2nd to June 24th, and it is all virtual. We just ask that you meet with us for one hour per week to engage in professional development workshops. So for instance, we have a couple of examples here at the top, right? Um, examples of the workshops are how to build your brand, finding your identity in the workspace, and how DreamWorks achieves diversity on screen. So this program is really meant to help give you both the hard and soft skills needed to launch your career in the animation industry. As part of the program, you will also be paired up with a mentor that you can meet with throughout the duration of the program. And the fellowship is a perfect gateway into our internship programs. So it's kind of like a stepping stone into our internship programs. When we recruit for our summer internship program, for instance, we'll prioritize sending over the resumes of our fellows to the intern hiring teams. So the applications for the launch program are now open and they are due on March 1st. So you have almost a month, the rest of this month to complete them. And Dennis will bring up the application in a bit and give you um, more details and tips on how to apply. I wanted to leave you off with the DreamWorks social handles. Um, so I really recommend you following our Instagram and LinkedIn in particular. We post lots of cool stuff, like on Tuesdays, we do Career Tip Tuesdays. So you'll hear tips from our recruiters on how to stand out when you apply, how to uh, make your portfolio the best it can be, stuff like that. And you'll also see all the announcement posts and links to all of our different programs um, that we offer. I will now pass it over to Dennis. And we will definitely take questions, but we'll save them for the end after Dennis speaks. Definitely, thank you, Emma. Um, so I'm going to share the application. So we talked about a lot of opportunities today. Um, the opportunities um, at DreamWorks are open to all, so you don't have to be an HBCU student. Um, um, the, the, it's as broad as open. However, this fellowship, the Launch HBCU Fellowship Program, requires you to be an HBCU student. Um, however, if you're not a student, we ask that you have graduated within the past, what is it, six months? Um, and after that, then you all, I mean, you won't be eligible. However, you still can now. Give me one second. My screen won't go down. Okay, well, I'm gonna improvise. So one of the things that uh, we ask that you all do in this fellowship is that, you know, when you're filling out the application, I'm gonna drop the link um, in this group chat as well. But when you're filling out the application, we ask that you all um, make sure you put the correct email. One of the reasons why is because when we do fellowship programs like this, um, a lot of students forget to put the correct email. We may email them an acceptance and we never hear anything back. And we'd be like, okay, do you want it or do you not want it? But the truth is they did not put the right email or they gave us the email in which they do not check consistently. So if you check your school email, put your school email. If you don't check your, put, if you don't check your school email, um, don't put your school email, even though you all should be checking your school email. Um, another thing we ask is that, you know, there's going to be a link on there um, in which you all can like insert your website or your portfolio or your LinkedIn. Um, we want you all to, you don't have to insert the link there. However, if you have a LinkedIn page, insert it there. Um, if you have one that hasn't been updated, this will be a great time to update it. You want to stand out. Um, we're going to have probably, I'm pretty sure probably about a thousand people apply for this opportunity. We want to make sure that you all, you know, actually get it. So we just want you all to really put things in there that talk about how your academic and professional experiences intersect with the fellowship program, as well as DreamWorks Animation. Next is 
essay questions. So the essay questions that we have, there's going to be about four of them. Um, the first one, we really, really want to know, like, tell us about your academic and professional experiences. In other words, what is your five-year plan? We want to know how are you using your academic and professional experience to basically launch you into whatever opportunity you want in the future. So if you get this fellowship at DreamWorks, what exactly have you done in the past in addition to this fellowship will help you get into, let's say, an animations opportunity or a marketing opportunity or a project management opportunity within DreamWorks Animation. Again, we really don't want one word answers. We want you all to actually tell a story, be detailed, have someone look over your answers before you submit it. The application is actually open from February 1st to March. So you have the entire month of Black History Month to complete it. Um, after that, we want to know some things, you know, really simple things like what is your favorite DreamWorks project? I know mine is, for example, mine is Shrek. Um, it was like one of those movies I put on in my household, which all my siblings got quiet, right? Um, if Shrek wasn't on, it was just so much noise. But when I put that movie on, it was like quiet. It was like, okay, this is our, 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 our treaty um, for peace. And I remember when this opportunity came across, I was like, wow, this is a great opportunity to get to get more diversity and things like that. Not, not only on screen, but to also get the people behind the screen, um, those type of opportunities. And last but not least, what is your favorite DreamWorks project? So if you're a Marvel person, we don't want to see Marvel projects. We want to see specifically DreamWorks. So tell me about the Balls Baby and the Madagascar and the Prince of Egypt and so on. And tell us why they're your favorite projects. But remember you all, we don't want you to wait until the last Last minute to submit this um to, to submit this application um I, we actually just got done with a call the students said it took them about 20 minutes to complete it um hopefully you know it doesn't well it's not that short but we want you all to just really put detail it doesn't take forever we don't ask for a resume or things like that we really really want to get to know you the ind individual you don't have to have a major in animation we're not really we're not worried about gpa we just want to see how your skills intersect with the fellowship and how you will use this opportunity to launch you into a um basically opportunity at dreamworks animation all right so i saw that was a question um, in the group chat, it says, so we can apply to this if we are not HBCU, um, but graduating within six months. No, you have to be an HBCU student or a recent HBCU graduate within six months to apply specifically for the um, launch HBCU fellowship program. However, DreamWorks actually has opportunities that are open to all, so you don't have to be a HBCU um, student if you want to go straight into DreamWorks, if that answers your question. Yeah, so I can jump in here, in here as well. Um, so the fellowship is, this is specifically for HBCU students, but our summer, our internship opportunities are open to all. So for instance, our summer internship opportunities will be posted um, on February 21st. So that's in like two weeks. And if you follow our uh, socials, I'll also drop them in the chat here again. Um, look out for those summer internship opportunities. They're open to all current students from any colleges or universities or recent graduates. Um, and how we define recent graduate is if you apply within six months of graduating. If there is someone on here that, I mean, if there was someone who wasn't able to make it, but you think this opportunity would be great for them, um, send them send them the link, send them the link. You don't have to be like on this webinar to be able to apply um, to the HBCU Launch Fellowship. You also don't have to be on this webinar to apply to some of the opportunities at DreamWorks. So you all, please feel free to spread the word, drop it in group chats. You all should apply as well. What is the best way to make your portfolio stand out? Um, just, I just want to repeat, the portfolio is not required. However, we want to get a feel for who you are before we actually interview you. Um, I think the best thing that um, to, to really answer this question is it really speaks on your experience professional experience as well as your academic experience in other words when i interview you i should have a really good feel for who you are literally just by looking over your portfolio if that answers your question because remember, you don't have to be an animations major. You're not applying to like um, an animations position. It's very, very broad. Um, a part of this fellowship, you're gonna learn about all the opportunities and all the departments within DreamWorks. So we're not specifically looking for one type of candidate. I also saw in the chat, someone asked our internships and such in person or are there remote opportunities? Um, so this fellowship program is completely remote. And then for our internships this summer, they will be virtual. Um, they have all of our internship programs have been virtual since the pandemic started. 
um, after the summer. So for internship programs, we have um, three seasons. We have the spring, the summer, and the fall. Um, summer will definitely be virtual. As for the fall, we'll kind of just see where every, how the world is then um, and approach that when we get there. But the summer will be virtual. Any other questions or did we do that great? <laughs> so that means I saw somebody from Kentucky in here. Uh, that means you should apply, apply for the internship programs, you all. There are two great, there are two great opportunities available. So DreamWorks is about to release, you know, a bunch of opportunities in which you all are like the first to hear about this. And we have the launch HBCU fellowship available. Um, if you don't qualify for the HBC one, please, please apply for the uh, one at DreamWorks. There's a bunch of opportunities that are available. There's like no like one size fits all. I think this is a question for Emma. Do you have to be graduating within six months to apply for the internship? No, so you can be a current student at any level. So freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or um, a recent graduate. So that six months was you have to apply within six months of graduating, but it's current students and recent grads. Good question. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget. I appreciate the love for spirit. Can I ask a question? Um, Emma, what's your, what's your role at DreamWorks? So I am a coordinator on our early career programs and diversity outreach team. So it's a long title, but yeah, so we run all of our early career programs, like the fellowship program, the internship program. And we also have a trainee program. So that's more artistic based. Um, so it's, for instance, we have like visual development artists or modeling, um, visual development trainees or modeling trainees. And that runs once a year as well. So yeah, we handle all of the early career stuff and like to, we reach out and talk to schools um, and do presentations like this one. I heard, see someone asked, are the internships paid? Yes, they are paid. So the summer internship program, I can give you a little bit more details. The summer is a full-time, uh, so 40 hours a week paid program. And then our internship programs in the fall and spring semesters are, are part-time. So you can work up to 24 hours a week and they are paid as well. Um, I see someone asked, what's the process for applying to a trainee program? Um, so same as applying to the intro program, go through the application. Um, we post it online. But for the trainee program, since it is more artistic based, um, there is more emphasis on your portfolio. So you would be applying using your portfolio. And we do not have the dates finalized for this year's trainee program. Um, but that, if you follow us on our social channels, we will definitely announce when our trainee program for this year will be held. It's usually in the summer or the fall. Um, someone asked, what were the positions for the fellowship program besides animation? So the fellowship program um, is open to all majors. You do not have to be in animation in particular. Um, you're, it's open to artists, non-artists. The only thing we ask is that you are interested in pursuing a career or exploring a career in animation. And someone asked how many students will be selected for the HBCU fellowship? There are 15 spots open, so we will have 15 fellows this year. Is there links to where we can look for when the internship programs drop? Yes, I will drop the DreamWorks Early Careers website link in the chat right now. Um, and that has more pro information about all of our programs and links to apply to all of our programs will be posted there. I will drop also that follow, in the chat now. You also follow DreamWorks on um, Instagram as well. Um, DreamWorks on Instagram and LinkedIn. Um, I know usually whenever they drop something, uh, one of the first places they notify people is um, Instagram and LinkedIn. Dr. Johnson, I would love to know more about um, HBCU 20 times 20. Definitely. So what we do is we um, work with HBC students and Black students from all over the country. What we do is we try to just give you the resources, the resources and things like that um, to succeed in Fortune 500 companies. So, for example, we look at something like DreamWorks. We work with um, Disney. Uh, we're in every industry, supply chain, logistics, you name it, the beauty industry. Um, and what we do is you may enter a fellowship program in which um, some of your dream works, you get like some of the soft skills as well as the hard skills. Um, in other words, you meet the people who do the hiring and what they try to do is build your skills up so that you can actually have a really, really great opportunity in the end. So you can apply for, for example, one of the opportunities at DreamWorks, the actual internship or, thing, or something like that. 
Yeah, so it's more of a pipeline, um, pipeline programming. Yeah, it's, I was looking at y'all's website earlier today. It's pretty neat what y'all are doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so I hope that you all visit, again, hbc20by20.com. Um, that's the website. There are a bunch of opportunities on there. All the opportunities on hbc20by20.com. Matter of fact, let me drop the link in the chat now. They're open to all. So you don't have to be an HBCU um, student to apply to the opportunities that you see on our website. All right, any questions or any other questions? So are you all going to apply to the DreamWorks internships or to the launch HBC fellowship? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, all right, cool. I'm glad y'all will. Um, again, um, you all follow us or hit us up on LinkedIn. Um, follow us on Instagram. Check out HBCU 20 by 20 page. This will not be the um, only opportunity that we come across in this field. Again, please take advantage of it. You do not have to have experience or a degree in this field to not only enjoy this fellowship, but to also apply to the internship opportunities that are available in the future. All right, so with that said, I think that's it, right? Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us insight into y'all's programs. All right. Thank you all as well. Take care, stay safe, and happy Black History Month. Peace. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks. And thank you, Kalina.